Hello dear learners today we are going to discuss about the MCQs from social pharmacy that is health education and community pharmacy from the chapter first aid we are going to start with few of the MCQs in part 1 and stay tuned for part 2 the first question from part 1 is immediate treatment given to the accident victim or sudden illness before the medical help is whether it is first aid whether it is accident whether it is artificial respiration or none of them the correct answer is it is first aid oh, after an accident or a small illness or sudden illness Uh, the immediate treatment which is given to the patient before the medical help arrives is nothing but first aid next question is anything which happens unexpectedly affecting the health of a person is means unexpected thing which will affect the health whether it is injury whether it is inflammation whether it is accident or first aid the correct answer is it is accident it can be a injury also means uh, after meeting an accident uh, there are chances of uh, uh, injury but accident definitely includes uh, means the severity of accident may vary from a small skin abrasion which may be associated with increased heart beat or due means due to fear okay or or sudden death also uh, may occur of that patient so it is more appropriately an accident which is happening unexpectedly and which is affecting the health of person next question is objectives of first aid are whether to prevent the further injury and deterioration of the patient condition whether to prevent the danger to life or whether to get the relief from pain or all of them the correct answer is it is all of them first aid objectives are like it can prevent danger to life also along with that uh, further injury also will be prevented and deterioration of patient condition can be minimized further deterioration and to get the relief from pain along with the uh, making medical help to arrive at the earliest is also the objective of first aid so the correct answer is it is next question is the qualities of first aider are whether the first aider should be calm cool self confident whether he should have sufficient knowledge whether he should be tactful and alert or all of them the correct answer is it is all of them here is your first aider he is with his first aid kit but he not only should come in a passionate way along with that he should be calm okay he should be alert he should uh, be able to uh, uh, maintain the comfort of the patient also whoever is being uh, injured or has faced an accident he should be uh, tactful to gain the confidence of the patient who has lost his confidence and he should also be able to control the crowd okay then he should be um, quite self confident and must be polite also with the patient as well as the attendants then first and foremost la means last but not the least he should have the sufficient knowledge or she should have the sufficient knowledge so that several injuries which are there which can be treated first next question is principles of first aid include the principles of first aid are whether to check the consciousness and viability of the patient whether to decide the priority of the first aid measure to keep the patient calm and comfortable till the medical help arrives or all of them the correct answer is it is all of them ideally Uh, according to the principles of first aid the principle says that uh, without wasting any time or asking any unnecessary questions to that victim first first aider should find out the cause of injury 
then he should first of all check for the whether the patient is conscious unconscious dead or alive then he should accordingly decide the priority of giving the first aid measure for example uh, restoration of cardiac functions breathing okay stoppage of bleeding whatever are the symptoms the first aider should recognize uh, them and uh, they should uh, after the first aid they should also arrange for the medical help next question is the first aid kit should contain dash bandages scissors and forceps emergency drugs and antiseptic solutions or all of them the correct answer is it is all of them the first aid kit as you can see here it contains the scissors forceps bandages okay it contains uh, like a first aid guide also a small manual so this is the antiseptic solution okay few medicines can also be kept okay general medicines then next question is a small portable first aid kit should be available at dash whether it should be available at home at buses at factories or all of them the correct answer is it is all of the above it is mandatory that one should have the first aid kit in home as well as the uh, traveling routes like buses trains factories uh, schools colleges etc so the correct answer is it is all of the above next question is first aider should examine the patient for dash whether he should examine the patient for pain or injury then breathing and pulse rate then fracture or all of them the correct answer is it is all of them <coughs> first aider should examine the patient first of all for uh, signs and symptoms of any injury or illness and after examining for any injury or illness the first aider should move towards uh, examining the pulse rate breathing okay any bleeding or fracture cases or burn inspect that question is the accidents can be classified as that whether they are indoor accidents outdoor accidents seasonal accidents or all of them the correct answer is it is uh, all of them because the accidents can be indoor accidents also outdoor accidents also then seasonal accidents also along with that accidental poisoning can also be there food poisoning etc and all so that also get counted into the accidental poisoning you can see here the images this is an indoor accident occurring inside the home. then this is occurring outside the home so it, this is outdoor okay it is on playground or it's on road so these are outdoor accidents then seasonal accidents you can call it as like uh, diwali in diwali due to firecrackers if anything happens then that is seasonal accident okay or in summer uh, the person like uh, heart stroke so may suffer from heart stroke or may face the issues such as heart stroke okay so such way these are the seasonal accidents also so the correct answer is it is all of them next question is which of these is not a type of indoor accident now just now we discussed indoor accident outdoor accident seasonal accidents etc so whether accident in kitchen accident on road accident in home accident in bathroom which one is not the indoor accident the correct answer is it is accident on road because kitchen home bathroom everything is indoor next question is which of these is a type of outdoor accident outdoor means now it is outside the home so it is whether it is in kitchen no whether it is on road yes it is possible whether it is in home uh, no whether it is in bathroom no it is not possible since the type is outdoor so the correct answer is it is accident on road which is an outdoor accident next question is which of these is not a type of outdoor accident whether accident in kitchen on road on sports ground accident in river or the correct answer is it is all of them because these are restricted to particular season next question is cpr stands for 
whether it is standing for cardiopulmonary resuscitation whether it is cardiopulmonary regression whether it is cardiopulmonary rotation or whether it is cardiopulmonary roads the correct answer is it is cardio pulmonary resuscitation means heart lungs and exchange of gas cpr when after few heart compressions thing is done it is when only one stator is performing cpr and two first stators are performing cpr when two oh, when two or more than two stators are performing cpr or one of is it is when performing as you can see here in the image these are the steps four steps then roll the fingers in between then uh, this is the uh, what you can call it as the situation of the hand then this way uh, supposed to do the cardiac massage okay when only one person is uh, performing the cpr first give the 15 compressions over here on the heart and then should blow the air then Science necessitates the need of cardiac massage. When the patient uh, pupils will dilate and they will not react to the light, when the pulse and heartbeat is absent, when the face will become bluish or all of them, the correct answer is it is all of them. All these signs when a person uh, in a person we will see at that time it it is it will necessitate this these are the signs where the cardiac massage is needed next question is injury to ribs and deeper tissue in case of cardiac massage may result due to dash whether due to wrong and careless pressure applied on the chest whether due to improper knowledge about performing the cardiac massage whether both of them or none of them the correct answer is it is both of them it is improper knowledge also as well as it is wrong and careless pressure with this we finish with few of the mcqs from first aid part 1 stay tuned for our next part on the same chapter first aid video mcq thank you